for you guys. So I have my phone for another hour. But I see on Facebook and Instagram and all this online stuff. How these guys get this fucking sexy woman. And I understand Jesus Christ never had a chance to do that too. I mean, you have to understand. It's just like how unfair it is. See, it's so unfair for some guy to have a sexy woman over Jesus Christ. I mean, I mean of course it's unfair, yeah. I'm not sure that you must understand that it's more how I feel as well. I feel on Jesus Christ side here. And it's more how sexy women never even pleasure you and they never even satisfy you at all. Of course you must understand that. Of course a woman never can satisfy you. But they look sexy. I mean, they look really sexy. And it's like nothing that you've ever had before. But the thing is that they can never fulfill you. Which they can never fulfill you. So you have to learn to understand, to appreciate what you see. But what's even more important is understanding that you have to go and plan out your life. And you have to plan your life into words. And if you plan your words, then you can also be someone who's growing your communication into a better level and also making sure that you're trying everything and you're trying your best to make a reputation for yourself. I mean, the strategies of what I'm doing on Instagram now is never working for me. And what is that? I promise you, so I'm uploading all these photos of me. I'm uploading stories in terms of Instagram stories of my photos. And I'm also doing IGTV. And I'm doing Instagram Reels. But it's never quite working for me. And why is it never working for me? I ask Jesus Christ. I mean, Jesus Christ says that I have to try something different. But the thing is, Jesus Christ says, keep going. And I have to find a new way. I have to find a new way. But Jesus Christ says, it's much more how it is. I'm trying my best out there, in terms of social media, to have all these fans. I'm trying my best, but the thing is that it's working behind the scenes. I realize behind the scenes, people are following me. Behind the scenes. I can see that. I can see that to be true. I can see straight away that, yes, that some people are reaching out to me, and they're trying to reach out to me, and they're trying to grab my time and space, but they're also trying to reach out to me to see what I'm doing. And I'm making impressions as well. I'm making, a lot of I'm making a lot of impressions. But I need more impressions than that. I have 150,000 impressions. But my deal right now is how I need to go and grow myself regardless. So what I'm doing is I'm learning. I'm learning that people love my Serbian content and my busking content more than anything else. So what I'm doing now is I'm just looking at just photos. I'm looking at photos or whatever it is. But it's just that you understand to never ever be part of anything that's pleasure with other people. I mean, how smart is that person really? I mean, you must understand. So what I do is I'm looking to enjoy myself. But TV is what they're doing. I mean, TV is how you get all the views these days. I realize now that's what I need to do, and that's what I'm never doing at the moment. So if you do something on TV today, then you have a lot of, let's say, following. So Jamie Oliver is on TV. So Jamie Oliver. So Jamie Oliver, and he has 8.6 million views and followers for him being on the TV shows. I see, so for myself now, I have to I have to do that. I have to go on TV shows. I see, so that's why I'm understanding that no matter what, the TV shows is where I need to go and get all my following now. I see, Marina Ivanovic, I see, I see there's plenty of these people where I'm just looking at different profiles and Jesus Christ says exactly TV shows. 
and interior shots is exactly the actual basis of where I have to go in order for me to attract a large audience for myself and once I do that I understand the way it works for me say Marina see now this woman here that I'm looking for is just a woman that is on a TV show see so she didn't block me but I have a few accounts over here to just go and check out her profile she does block me because I'm somebody who admires her so that's what I'm saying a woman are like that and as soon as you admire them well she'll never care about you I'm in a sense so just let me say Marina Ivanovich see now she's up here I see she's up here but her TV show is never working much and I see I see how I'm really rolling on I'm rolling on in a different way I'm enjoying myself differently I'm never rude but I'm somebody who understands that there is a chance that she can hear me and a little bit that way I'm, I'm learning how to just grow myself regardless of what's going on so what I do now is help myself to really deliver content so anybody who's on TV shows today is famous and that's it I mean if you look at Sylvester Stallone stars in TV shows say Sylvester say Sylvester Stallone see now it's just the way it is so people follow them because you can see straight away the people follow the news channels and people follow them because they're on TV and that's it I see I see Bakley and see it's much more how you have to understand I see if you follow Glad's I see Glad's I see Glad's see now this woman over here has following as well of 64,000 followers and she's a politician so how do I actually get on TV and how much money do I put on it because it has to be some kind of TV show about me life coaching so let's have a look see over here say so, so how to be on a TV show see now that's what I'm saying that YouTube and Instagram and social media alone is not in terms of is never enough but find yourself doing much more TV shows I see being on a TV shows I see TV extras work I see apply for TV jobs and TV shows yeah so I have to do an audition for a TV show I see how to make my own TV show so make my own TV shows see now that's the thing so if I go and really really understand something I have to develop an idea I choose the genre and I develop the characters and I arrive at the treatment for the show I build up some content around my ideas I write the TV script I understand the basic screenwriting format and inventions read as many screenplays in my genre as I can I understand the need of the plot and the need of a good plot I outline my plot using TV and acting structure I do a table and read after your first draft in terms of I read after my first draft I see I shorten the script as much as possible I see I consider shooting the show myself 
So yeah, tap into industry representatives and resources. So guys, the important thing for me is realize never shorten content at all. Try, I mean, try to make your content as long as possible. I see, I tap into industry representatives and resources. Create a list of companies to approach and make my shows like yours. I see, keep on writing and filming, working on the TV film industry. So yeah, I, 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 I mean, where does it go? I, I've already done all that. I see now, what, what I do is I have to see how to advertise myself on the TV show. So I advertise my TV show. So I advertise my TV show. Do TV advertising. So you have TV advertising rates. Uh, I mean, you can advertise something on TV if you want. I see now that's the thing about these promoting things. You have to go and search up marketing strategies as well. And go and grab yourself more ideas. I mean, it's all on Google. And as you understand straight away what you're doing, then you have to understand 17 inspiring marketing strategies for your film or TV show. I mean, let's look. So do something remarkable. I see do the publicity stunt. It does a publicity stunt. I see it all has to do with pre-roll video advertising. And be smart with junks. See, I see be smart with press junks. So it says be smart with press junkets. Which is IMDB listings and advertising. And involve your audience in the making of the film. See so and go to town with your video marketing. See so and also create a visual, compelling, and functional subsite. I see so also make your Facebook page interactive. I so see use and niche social networks like Vine, Instagram, and Pinterest. And auction props used in the film or TV show. I see also use social media competitions and quizzes. I see use auction props in using in the film or TV show. I see use celebrities and branding partnerships. I see persona marketing as well. And using memes and other forms of UGC. I say using Google AdWords as well and Final Thoughts. I see now those are just some ideas. I see how to advertise a business on TV. And all I'm really doing is just looking that you have to see the demographics and age and gender and ethnicity and income. I mean, you have to look at the TV stations as well. And you have to see the viewer content by creating an ad and you can go and do a 30 second spots of advertising with commercials and you can also see video production with whatever you're doing and you are able to just financially just be able to set yourself up for success on TV and now how much following do you want I mean that's the thing I mean, is that following going to make your collective history make? I mean, are they going to make you rich and famous, or what, what is going to be come of you with all of that? I see if you understand people who go on TV shows. I see Jamie Oliver, for example. Jamie Oliver is a cooking show guy, and he has five point five three million subscribers, man. Just for his TV, I mean, just, I mean, just for his TV show, man. And he has everything on YouTube. I mean, everything he does is on YouTube, and that's how he gets his followers. I mean, he gets his followers through making a TV show about himself or advertisement. So somehow he's advertising himself. So what's he doing? I mean, what's he doing that other people are never doing? Actually, he 
is advertising himself on TV shows at most and on YouTube he has a subscription policy of Jen Miller and he has done a certain show way that he is on TV shows but how did he get his TV show on television and how can I get mine on television too I mean wh what is my TV show I mean what is my product I mean, my product is music and also life coaching I mean look I see that the making of your product on TV enables you to reach millions of viewers each day so you have to so you have to reach more people faster and you have to understand that so marketing a product through other advertising sources can lead to stagnating sales because effectively marketing an unknown product often requires a visual advertisement and since your product has to have an image that immediately tells people to buy it so you must use your tv spot to your advantage by showcasing how your product works and why people must gain it see now that's the thing so you have to market yourself on tv so determine the channels to market your product on and choose channels that your customers will likely watch and ones that will allow you to employ an ad of your choosing see for example marketing a product that's aiming at male teenagers is best done by tv advertising on channels that teenage boys watch such as music video channels and action movie and action show channels i see the channels you choose also dictate the type of ad you run, may run and channels that cater toward a family audience or younger audience will never permit adult theme advertisements i see now as i'm really really studying upon this you have to understand you have to re i mean you have to read everything so you get to the point immediately and you have typically only have 60 seconds less to advertise your product i say do not i said no i said do never attempt to appear clever with your ad by dancing around with what your product is until the very end i say to explain that you are offering immediately when viewer does when the viewer sees your ad i see show the product works according to entrepreneur joseph gray and it's impossible to show the benefits and he says it's impossible to show the benefits of a product without showing how it works i see never tell viewers what your product does physically show them i see now if you understand show away how i feel that no matter what that it's much more how i'm just looking to scan everything i love to scan everything but you have to make sure that you have to advertise your product as much as you can but you have to study I mean, you have to study what people are doing with infomercials and you have to look at all these kind of different sales clerk ways of making chance sales and you have to make sure that you're looking for the type of genre that you want out of your life so you're making sure you're solving mathematical equations so now i'm solving equations really quickly but now jamie oliver is showing me that he's on tv shows and that he has a tv show but i need my own tv show now he has a youtube channel as well and his youtube channel is far better than mine and why is that i mean he has more followers i mean, I mean guess what I mean, I have information that he has never done. So I've, I've done more information products than he has. But is it really? Or should yeah? I believe so. I should ask Christ about that. And Jesus Christ says, mm. or she's really, really doing it. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Or should I have done more than him in terms of everything. I see now. It's more how he gets all these followers from YouTube channels. And it's not a YouTube channel. Or it's something other than a YouTube channel. Or it's him advertising to a great host of people on TV. Or on TV. And 
how do I get on TV? And that's it. I mean, how do I get on TV? I say, I say TV quote. I say TV quote. So I say I want to, I want to get on TV. I want to get on TV. See, the more you can host your television show in front of people, the better. I mean, look at Oprah Winfrey. I mean, Oprah Winfrey is another person on TV. I say Oprah Winfrey. I say Oprah Winfrey. I say Oprah. I say Oprah. I say Sydney Opera House. Now, Sydney Opera House is just in Sydney. So they have a promotion of the Sydney Opera House. What's their promotion over here? I mean, their promotion is really just a location. And that's it. I mean, they're promoting location. In terms of what's happening at the Opera House. I mean, that's similar to mine, but they have more popularity at the moment. I mean, they're showing what's going on at the Hopra house, and that's it. See now, Oprah Winfrey, however, has a YouTube show and also a TV show. But how did she get on TV? See, Ellen DeGeneres. See, Ellen DeGeneres. See now, she's also done her number over here. I mean, she puts a number, and she's. I mean, she has 103 million followers. That's Ellen DeGeneres, and she is on TV, and she's hosting the Ellen DeGeneres TV show. And everything that goes on her show goes to everybody. So that's the thing, yeah. I, I mean, anyway, I, I realize she's also advertising people on her portfolio here she's advertising her groups and stuff like that and listen I mean listen I mean TV shows is like I mean what does Ellen DeGeneres have over here I mean Ellen DeGeneres has over here in her Instagram I mean she has an Instagram shop with an email address and now she's doing a lot of the email marketing. She's selling products. I mean, she's selling products. And what kind of products? I mean, it's something to do with her reality TV show. I mean, she hosts the famous people on her TV show. And now that's something that you have to understand that is a great promotion right here that you host famous people on your TV show, but if it's just you, Roshi, that's what results I have today about me. Roshi, that's why I get the results I do. I get my results because I'm just promoting I. And who the fuck am I in life? Roshi, that's it. Roshi, who the fuck am I and who's Danny Nivovich? Roshi, sure, although, I'm promoting just I. I understand that, but how do I become popular without bringing anything else? I only. Roshi, sure, now guess what? I'm already popular. I'm already popular. But what do I have to do to make myself more popular? Roshi, sure, I have to create a TV show around I. And I have to invite famous people into my TV show. For free, and I have to gather an audience. I have to call up an audience to come and watch me. I mean, how do I do that? I mean, self promotion, and I'm doing all that, but I have to do much more. I say, so what can I do much more of to make myself much better? So let's have a look. See you. Morning tea, Daddy. See what's that? Morning tea. Oh, thank you very much. See now, that's a nurse over there. 
Let's see, calling me from morning tea. I'll show you now. What I need to do is show you this. I see my one never understands that she can never call me right now. But she can call me right now, but never right now, now. But she's calling me beyond the hours of when she's meant to. I mean, she has to call me within the times of the other type of phone. But maybe she's calling me on the other phone and she's sending me a message to say, hey, because over here, in the nursing station over here where I am, she can never call this mobile. She's never meant to be calling my mobile over here. But she can call me on the landline phone. Because the nurses over here and the doctors never allow me to speak to anyone on my phone. Like speaking to you. But they never allow me to speak to you either. So that's why I'm doing it behind their backs. I said, so what do I have to do to become much more appropriate around my advertising? I say now. Say TV shows. Say TV shows. Say hand out more business cards. Say say over here. Say more events around town. Around I. Say more busking performances. Say Netflix. Say TV and commercials. Say TV and commercials. Say YouTube ads. Say Facebook ads. Say Instagram ads. Instagram ads so yeah see now that's why I see what else can I do I say over here I say I say famous people I say, I say business I say business I say business with famous people so events with famous people. I see, yeah. So the reason people are never following me much is because who the fuck am I? <laughs> I mean, who am I? Gosh, now they want me to be famous before they follow me. I mean, do you understand? I mean, they want me to be famous before they follow me. I mean, they never want my information. I mean, they want me to be famous. I mean, that's the thing. So what I do now is a little bit away. I say, I say business card promotion. I say business. I say business card promotions. I say album promotions. And music album promotions. See now, guess what? Approaching now, this is something where I'm understanding something. That I realize quickly on why people are the way they are. I, re I realize that all the fame in the world here gets me free promotion only. It makes me a star. See now, that's the thing now. I see TV shows. I see that's all done. I have all that now. I have all that now. But guess what? Rush, it's more how I feel. I feel I'm doing my job. I'm doing my job as much as I can. And other people are doing better than me because they have more money in plastic at the moment to go on TV shows. They're running a TV show, for example. Which other people are acting movie screen. And first of all, I'm acting movie screens. I say acting movie screens. I say I say famous before acting movie screens. 
I see now the reason John Cena and Dwayne Rock Johnson are on movie screens today is because they became famous in the world wrestling entertainment shows before they became actors. I mean, that sense. So that's the thing. I mean, they want people to be famous first. I see. I say, 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 promote yourself. Around famous people. See now, that's the thing. I realize now what I'm understanding now is different. I'm understanding that yes, if you pour more money into that than I just gave you, for you, there's I mean, there's a big chance you become famous. I mean, money. In plastic, and you give it all into your fame and promotion. Honestly, now what I'm showing you now is go the freeway, right away. And bus promotions, say bus promotions, say bill boards, promotions, say banner promotions. I see the reason they never came to my event on the 28th of May is who the fuck am I? Gosh, that's it. Gosh, that's why they never get what I have. And never be that way. Gosh, although now I want to show you something. That since I'm understanding straight away how people are toward me and my life. I want to keep going and I have to make myself known somehow. But how do I make myself known? I'm going to show, really show myself how. But that's the thing. Because now I can see straight away what the case is and what I need to do. Because for me, popularity is something I already have. I already have popularity. As Danny Milovic. I mean, what? I mean, you guys ain't fooling me. Russia, you guys are never fooling me. Russia, now, what I'm doing now is just a little bit that way. I make free advertisements only. I say free advertisements only. And I do free advertisements only. And guess what? For it's more how it is that I'm delivering content, I'm doing everything nice and beautifully, and it's much more how I feel. That my life as a popular fame in this lifetime is on the low. For sure it's on the low. For sure, why is that? For sure it's just the way it is. For sure, who the fuck am I, yeah? <laughs> and who the fuck is that in the world, it's man? I mean, that's the way, when Jesus Christ said it, that's the way, yeah. I never hate you, I love everybody. I'm showing myself the best way to do life. But I'd rather just go and get my soy milk. But the thing is, I'd rather go and do it now, so I'll do better. I see guys, so anyway, <clears throat> I see I just broke the code, so the code is that I understand something about this life. I understand that you guys out there are going to be slaves. And you guys are going to work for somebody else. And guess what? For sure, I want you to never be a slave. I never want you to work for somebody else. But the thing is, now, since I'm actually recording my life now, I'm understanding that no matter what, that this world and its popularity can go in the bin. I mean, do you understand me? It's all full of shit. I understand all that Jesus Christ is never full of shit for me. <laughs> I, want you, I, I, I want you to see something now. Jesus Christ says, just the way I feel. I mean, you understand? I mean, the only person or God or anything that deserves popularity is Jesus Christ, and that's it. I mean, you understand? 
I mean, everything you have today is because of Jesus Christ and never because of you. I mean, I said, I very sure you though, learn that really quickly. And I need to understand straight away that for myself, I have everything I need. But for myself to dwell upon popularity this way in terms of this lifetime, it's just never quite there yet. <laughs> I'm sure my life is never quite there yet with popularity in this lifetime. I promise you, but I'd rather have a family than have popularity in this lifetime. I promise you. So what I need to do now is enjoy myself. Anyway, I have a TV show, but people never want my TV show. Because it's Danny Milovojevic. I mean, it's just some fucking random guy on YouTube. I mean, yes, but that's how people are going to be toward them as well. And then when people are like that toward them, then Danny Milovojevic shows up and says, Hey, this is what I'm doing. Which then they say, Oh, but he gave me his business card, but did I give him my business card? For sure, but guess what, for sure, that's how it always is, is for me. And I, I always go around giving my business cards to people. But the thing is now that I want to print out my albums. And I want to have one album with me always. And a CD player. <laughs> I have a CD player next to me. And now my CD player is my phone. I know it's alright. So I want to bring one CD with me. So I can play in the car somewhere, whenever I want, for a test. And now for myself to understand that, for sure it's much more greater ethics to be able to understand, to just go throughout my life, just on the low. I'm just going on the low, because there is a higher purpose for me. And there's a higher purpose for me to be able to go on the low than on the high. I mean, why is that? I mean, because the lower I go, the better for me. Because I am at least learning something in this lifetime. I'm learning something regardless of what's happening. And guess what, Roshi? If you want to make a million bucks in this lifetime, then you may have it ready in your words. So what do you want to do with the plastic money in your life? Roshi, is fame the way to plastic money? Roshi, guess what? Roshi, yeah. Roshi, guess what? Roshi, it is. But you have to give more money to become famous more quicker right now. So, do I go and do myself promotions for myself? Say so, yeah. But how many promotions do I make of myself? And that's the thing. I ask Jesus Christ about this. I mean, Jesus Christ says free promotion only. I mean, free promotion only for me. I mean, anything I have to work for, I have to live for. I mean, that sense, but that's the thing. I have to push myself as well to record much more, to upload more content online quicker. I mean, I'm already working 24-7. I'm already giving you every single minute of my day in an audio program. I mean, that's the best I can do. But at least my life is going to be something far greater. And that's it. Roshi, that's what I want your life to be. I want your life to be far greater every single time. I want you to learn the art strategies of something. That you can always make promotions around your events and make money from those events. And then guess what, Roshi, that's how you start off. I mean, start off making money at the amount of our job. But never just hold to the 9 to 5 job, but go and promote yourself with that money that you made at the 9 to 5 job and throw it into an event to make money from that event only. I mean, listen, Roshi, yeah. Roshi, now, guess what? Roshi, that's the thing. I mean, if you do go around doing free DJing events all your life, I mean, do you make money from it? Roshi, make popularity. Roshi, make popularity. But if you make money on the event on the first time, 
Fashiacy and Bera, any making popularity. So she now gets one. So she won first event on the 28th of May. I mean, did I make money on the day? I say yes, I made money on the day. I mean, how did I make money on the day? I've shown people the door to come to my event. To give me 200 bucks at the door to see me. So I should say, who the fuck is standing in the boy bitch? So I should, all of them. So I should, none of them gave me 200 bucks. I, I did invite over 7,000 people to my event and none of them show up. So it's my 29th birthday. So I should, I woke up, I said, no worries, I just do nine hours of content out here. I, I never fucking care about them. So the thing is, I never do that again. Now, that's this big remark for me now. People like that never come to events. Because what is the barrier to understand that you're famous? And how do you realize when you're famous or when you're never famous? <laughs> Ask Jesus Christ. I mean, Jesus Christ says, that's the thing. I mean, how you, I mean, how are you meant to recognize when the best time is to do that? Russia now only. Russia Jesus Christ says you lost nothing because they never deserved you on the day. Russia they never did deserve you on the day. Russia, I gave twelve hundred bucks and only six people to show up to my event means I make money on the event. But they have no money. Russia they have no money. But if I do it for free, Russia then they show up. But do I make money on the day? Russia I do. So she now asks Jesus Christ what to do. I mean, Jesus Christ says, free promotion, again and again. I mean, go and do it for free. I do, I do it for free then. I do it for free. Because that way, at least people are going to show up. And then on the day, I have to ask for money. I ask Jesus Christ, how can I pitch them for money over here? I mean, Jesus Christ says, there are many ways. I mean, you can make some packages. And say, this is what you get, and this is what you get, and this is what you get. And it was this price, but it's down to this price now. And anybody who's interested, I mean, anybody who's curious about this, please go to the back. We have an Force machine. I see, that's one. I see you guys need this product, because that product right here is going to teach you something that I understand right now. I can boost your life expectancy. I can help you. Really, really dwell upon something that is greater for you. I can help you to realize what you need right now. Every single day, I'm focusing on helping you guys to succeed. Hopefully, I can start pitching them for money. And now, maybe on the day, nothing happens and nobody gives me money on the day. But the thing is, somebody has money to give me. Actually, if one person from that day gives me 3,000 bucks, I'm legendary on that day, of Russia. Russia now I go from two thousand dollars to two thousand to one hundred. There's a I go from three thousand to two thousand five hundred to two thousand to fifteen hundred to one thousand to five hundred to two hundred to one hundred to a fifty dollar CD. Russia little bit away. I give them all the angles of. Whatever it is. Russia, yeah. Russia, and then you flip switch like this. Russia, that's life coaching. But that's coming up. I mean, that's coming up. And now, what I need to do is email marketing. But what am I doing? I mean, what am I doing in email marketing? Russia, all I can do in email marketing is send them my new YouTube videos. I'm already doing that. <coughs> I'm already doing that. I'm gonna send them my new posts on Instagram. I'm doing that already in other ways. So for me, I understand what's going on. But music is different. I have a music career too. And now music is different, but where's my, I mean where is a better chance for me now? Or should music production is a better chance for me now to succeed? I mean, yes, I mean, why is that? Because I gained some popularity here. I gained some popularity for music production. 
because I'm the only electronic music producer who can create one hour trance music today. <laughs> I promise you, yeah. I promise you now, that's why I like to have a kill track. I'm gonna check it out. I can make two and a half hours of music. That's trance music. I mean, that's my Zonify track. I can create four and a half hours of music, which is my Atalatopia. I made one hour of I Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, which is I Twinkle Topia for one hour, which is Mozart's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I have to make that even longer. I want to how to make myself get the podium. I want the podium in terms of I podium. I have to get that through my self promotions. I have to talk the words on that. I have to be talking more words to get there. So what I do is every single day, I'm learning to just key the art of differences to help myself to deliver content differently. And this is the best I can do right now. I mean, it's the best I can do is record myself. And usually I have a selfie stick with me like this, holding this whole audio program with me to be able to deliver content. So now with the money I have, I have to get some technology. But guess what? I can make music now. But now eventually I'll go and pump it in a nightclub somewhere. Eventually. And maybe that way. Otherwise, now what I want to do is I could have made it already on my 29th birthday. If they just came and if they just sold out, I could have had $20,000 on that day. I promise you, yeah. I promise you. I could have done it, but nobody did show up for me. I mean, that's it, except I. I'm the only one that showed up. I'm the only one that shows up. I'm not sure, though. That's the thing. So, I move on. I learned something from that brochure, and I learned how to grow myself. But they never deserve that. I'm not sure you guys are going to see my actual YouTube video where I was at Maui's. I was live for nine hours. And for nine hours I'm recording. And nobody is there except I. <laughs> I wish it's the best thing. But guess what? I wish the best thing on that day is the information I gave you. I wish that's it. I wish I could have went home. I could have went home and said, screw this. I, I stood there recording myself and recording my program. But now, if I do it for free, and I ask for donations, and I say, put in the hat where you can, please. I mean, whatever you can afford for this whole seminar day, please, put in the hat. I can do that. I can do that. I can ask for some money out of here. I mean, saying, and what they give me is what the value of that crowd is, man. I'm sure that's it. Actually, that's the way I see them. I mean, that's it. Actually, now every single day, I ask Jesus Christ, is that true? Actually, Jesus Christ says, yeah. Actually, they give you two dollars, and there's a hundred of them, and they give you two dollars only. Actually, that's the value of that crowd, and that's it. I mean, that's it. Actually, that's the way it is. I move on, man. I mean, guess what? I mean, learn how to appreciate regardless that they gave you something. I mean, that's it. So, every single day, learn to study. I mean, study something different. I mean, if I invite them to a park somewhere, for free, to a park, and say, this is where I am. I'm sure now, this is even better. Because, at least at the park, I save some money over here, and I build popularity on the day. And that's even better than making it somewhere inside. Russia, it's even better. Russia, it's even better for me. Russia, I start making popularity in this way. And I'm doing that from now on. But how do I do that? And that's already busking. And that's busking performance already. Russia, now, that's the way. Russia, that's busking. Russia, that's the best way forward. But what do I need to do on that day? I need to 
have a portrait that says my Instagram on it. I have to stand there for hours and hours. And for hours and hours and hours. I just stand there and just sit down and relax and promote my name. I'm going to sit down and relax, yeah? I'm going to go get my busking performance license and get the long hours license. And I sit down and relax. I get my portrait and they can find me. And now, after 20 years of doing that, I'm going to guess what happens. I'm somebody, I'm a star. I'm, just, I'm a star. But maybe somebody kills me. Ask Jesus Christ, what do I do here? And Jesus Christ says, one time only, do it. You do it one time only. In different spots, in different ways. Proshu now, guess what? Proshu, that's what they want. Proshu, what Jesus Christ wants me to do is do it one time only. So I can travel. I have to go somewhere different. I have to go somewhere different. I mean, Jesus Christ says, one time only means what? I mean, I ask Jesus Christ, says, I mean, keep coming back to that spot. And I mean, Jesus Christ says, that's a thing. I mean, that's what Jesus Christ was doing here. I mean, Jesus Christ says, never be afraid. I mean, he says, never be afraid. I mean, just go. Go and make your life. And if somebody does kill you for promoting yourself, then this life is never worth living. Roshan, that's it. Roshan, who cares about this life then? Roshan, that's it. Roshan, now. So what I do now is I do my life. I do my big technology summary that I have to enjoy myself. But then, the 9 to 5 comes up. And the 9 to 5 comes into play. And now, since the 9 to 5 is into play, Roshan, that nice and beautiful moment of me promoting myself is short term. Which that's short term for me. For sure now, I have to go and do what's long term for me, and that's it. For sure now, that's it. For sure never even do it in the first place now. For sure go somewhere new. Go promote myself somewhere new. Just for one hour and just to do my work. For sure new. For sure that's different. Now, make an event somewhere in the park somewhere. Keep promoting that park. Please come to this park. Please come to this park. I'll show you something. I'll show you something. And on the day, ask for donations. And that's it. And ask them for donations. On the day. Now, that's the thing. They want to come see these for free. I still want to see this for free, but the Serbian people are going to find out about this. They're going to find out that I'm making something of a festival around me. And they may cause me trouble. I mean, they may make or come with the boys or something. So come. So come. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Yeah. For sure, they have drama against me. I mean, they hate me for stepping up to be a leader. I mean, they hate me for it. I mean, those people hate me for being somebody. I can make a free promotion in lottery. I can make a free promotion of eight hours of just I of lottery. And do I do it? I can. I have two phones. See, now Jesus Christ says, just hold on. I mean, these promotional tags I make is all different. But there you go. But I realize because I want to help myself to improve, actually, if I ask for money, if I ask for money on the door, actually, it's more how I feel. I feel that no matter what, that I'm owning it already. If I go there and ask for money on that day, if I say $200 per ticket, I'm going to show up. I have status. 
Oh, I can't even have that. I can't have that, unfortunately. None of them have money. Because they say, who the fuck is Danny? And they say, who the fuck is he? Unfortunately, now, there might be someone who says, Danny is important. And, I mean, Danny's important. I mean, they may recognize me somehow. But if I do it for free, and they say, I am I mean, if I make musicians come, and I come on the day, and there you go. And it's a celebration around me for one hour. And I do it for free. And I make a speech for one hour. And make them one night on the day. It's a free promotion for everybody. I promise you, I win on the day. The best promotion. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I ask Jesus Christ about this. And Jesus Christ says, do it. I show up on the day for one hour. Say, Ulas. I say the door entry is for free. I wish there's singers and dancing around. And you can dance around, do what you want. But the promotion is Danny Milovojevic is here for one hour to give a speech. I say for one hour. I say yeah. I say just for one hour. I say now why one hour? I say why not? I went advertisement on the day. I went status around the crowd. I went status around this crowd. I'll do a few times. I do a few times. I do a few times. I just keep going. I keep doing it. I keep doing it. And eventually, there comes a stage where people love me so much that they come and give me money just to see me one more time. Now, that's the thing. I see right now, no. I see never do it now. I see now, I want to advertise myself and I want to create something around my promotion. I see now, guess what? Rush it's more how I feel. That it's a free promotion, everybody wins on this day. I win especially because it's around. Danny Milovojevic promotion, and guess what, I mean, let's just say I've done it several times. Well, she gets to the stage where I can just ask for money this time. And that's how it counts for everything that I do. I promise you, if I go target the same people, and I retarget the same people for now in this promotion, and I say, hey, free entry this time. I do it several times to the same people. Or she'll come and do it. Or she'll come to save my day. Or she, yeah. Or she, now that's the way. I say retarget the same audience. I say retarget the same audience, guys. And you have yourself whatever you want. I mean, make the event. And retarget the same people for the same events. And it can be indoors. And make it again and again. And guess what happens? And then you win. I mean, retarget the same people that you did before. And try to make money on them. I say, yeah, because if you retarget the new people now, or if you retarget new people, I mean, guess what happens? And they're going to say, who the fuck is Danny? But they come on the day. I'm approaching you now, what do you want to do? I feel to retarget the same people. I, I understand something now. That if I retarget the same people seven times, I can retarget them one time and twice and three times and four times to come and see the results of that. I promise you, eventually they come and they book out my event. And there's no tickets online. They just come in the door, dun dun dun, and done. And what I'll do on the day, I mean, on the day, 
Ahora. I want to show you something now. And I can make a disco night. Or well, Danny's disco night. It's a free entry at Bonnering. And then free entry at Bonnering. Oh. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. So now what I want to do is I can be right there. And people can be watching me. Spin my rotational keys and I can really understand something now I have everything I would need to make this one promotional Daniel Lovovich but let me get some technology I mean what does Jesus Christ say I mean, Jesus Christ says I like the idea of this because what I'm doing now is I have to retarget different people and for free I retarget the same people. So we target the same area and I keep going the same areas to retarget and make a free event. And make a free event around the same people and around the same people. And around the same people, make a free event several times. And let's just try to do it several times. And then let's ask for money at the door eventually. I make all my money back eventually. So I can retarget them 10 times. I can retarget them 15 times and make money. I mean, you understand? Because I'm somebody in their life now. For instance, now it takes around 5 times and it brings about 5 times to 7 times that you have to retarget the same people to make some money from them for you to become somebody in their field. So you have to target the same audience. You have to understand who your audience is. And that's what they mean. So, who's my audience in Bonnering? I understand. I win over here. <coughs> I win each and every single time. I realize now, what do I want to do? I want to do a disco night. And a celebration night. I want to invite everybody. I want to invite people to come and see me at Bonnering. But I have to make money on that. But first, let it be for now. I'll let it be that way. And I win status. I win status around the crowd here. And it means a woman can come to my life. Because I'm winning so much promotions around me. I have so much more promotions around me that Bonnering loves me. I mean, Bonnering loves me. But when I ask for money and I say, hey, give me $200, I'll make you five events. I mean, and say it. I say, I mean, if you guys give me 200 bucks at the door, I'll make you guys five events. I mean, guess what? It's a done deal. And we make them five events. And that's it. Gosh, now, what am I do now? I understand now that my first event in Bonnering has to be what? Gosh, it has to be one of those disco nights. And now, the disco nights, gosh, these people are coming. They want to come inside of the festival. They want to hear it. I mean, they want to hear what I'm doing. And I win. I win already. So, for myself, over here, I'm learning something. I'm learning how people are coming. And definitely they come. Because it's a Friday night. Or a Saturday night. I mean, I just make it a Saturday night. And we just say 6 to start throughout the night till about 3 o'clock in the morning so about 3 o'clock in the morning so probably around 8 hours of whatever it is and a little bit that way see I can do it from the top 
I can do it from the top of the crown and I can just learn how to do that. And then guess what, I'm promising today, I'm going to love my music because it's for free. And that's the thing, Actually, if I make a live coaching event, I'm going to just do something like the crowd here. Yeah. Because in there, I say no, so you have to work a 9 to 5 job and you have to make your own promotions. I see here if she understands straight away if she wanna lose weight, I say, hey, I say, come over here, I make an example of this person, I say, what do you eat? I say chicken, beef, and this, this, this is what I hear from her. I say if you remove the chicken, you lose five kilos. I mean, I mean are you able to do that? So she it's so simple, yeah. So she and then you just realize very quickly on how free promotions actually help you to become somebody in different zones like home bar and marquee free promotions. And I'm going to check out my beautiful Gmail over here. I'm checking everything. I'm always checking what I can do much better. So that's the thing. So always look for better promotions. So if you just stick to the freeway and just go and promote the freeway. But if you promote the freeway around new people, retarget the same audience only. I mean, retarget all those people that you already did and make them come to your event this time. I mean, guess what? I mean, this time they want to come to you because they've seen you already one time. And they're more likely to come because they've seen you already one time. So go to all those places that you went before and that's it. So actually, now it's going to be different people, of course. So actually, although we try and retarget the same people. So actually, yeah. So actually, now what you do now is realize that if you just retarget people to have a free promotion, you win. And try to have all these nights of free promotion. So you make some money and do it as a free promotion. And do a free promotion, and do a free promotion. And each and every single month, you have a free promotion somewhere. And then guess what? Promotion, they suddenly start to come to Mounties. Or they start to come in, in I mean, they start coming to the park. Every Friday or whatever, Saturday or Sunday, you are at the park here and there's a park or it's a large park and tell them to bring their chairs and retarget them and say, come here next week, come next week, come next week and build something around these people. I mean, you can even do some exercises in the park with them. But you're retargeting them I and mean, you're asking them to come back, come back, and come back. And the more of a community you build like this, the more popularity you have. Once you eventually, just do it for free, all your life. Once you eventually, you can ask for some money here and there. I mean, you can ask for some money. I mean, are you guys able to give me some money this time? I mean, if you ask them for some money, you're just asking. But at least you're honest. I mean, they said. But if you're trying to win some money over from them on the first sight, well, she may get a no. <coughs> but if you are somebody who really, really is into them, really, then guess what? Well, she, it's more how it is. Well, she, guess what? Well, she, people are afraid to make promotions around themselves. If you make a promotion around yourself, well, she, people come. And they come for free. And they come for free because they have nothing to do at home. So they want, to, I mean, they want to watch you. And they want to watch something about you. I mean, they're saying so. Go and just enjoy. And make it affordable for everybody. I mean, make it affordable. I mean, make it for free. I mean, for free is the best kind of ideal. But in the for freedom, you, I mean, you win status. I mean, an advertisement over there for free at Bonnering 
means I want standard service for free. Rush, if you just go and promote yourself for free, and you do everything for free, Rush, you'll find the free road. I mean, you'll find the free road, and you'll become free in some aspect of your life. And you shall be set free. And eventually, you'll find that road, and you can now travel the world for free as well, doing what you love to do. Because you're willing to do it for free and never for money. I mean, that's end. I understand that. So what I do now is I'm learning, yeah? I'm learning. Do it for free. And yes, 2,000 bucks. I understand you gave 100 hours of your life to have a promotion for yourself. I understand that. But you have to do it. You have to have a promotion for yourself, yeah? And go and have your own promotion, but try to do it for free. Without having to give money for it. I mean, try to have a free promotion. I can go busking performances and do it for free. I mean, isn't that better for me? For a year. For a year, that's much better for me. But if I want to target a place specifically, then guess what? For a year, that's different. For a year, if I want to target one ring, and that's different. Which that's different than targeting. But yes, it's for free. And then they never give me money either. I promise you, yeah. But if I go in busking performances for free, all my life, in front of people, I promise you, there you go. I mean, it's totally for free, isn't it? I promise you, just put one of your portraits there. And this is you, man. And there you go. I mean, that's all. I mean, you'll find the freeway. The freeway is that way. And just enjoy yourself. And that's it. I mean, now all that money extra that you have goes into extra promotions of whatever you, whatever you want to promote yourself other than busking performances. Which that's extra. Or it could be extra for living or travelling somewhere to do a busking performance over there somewhere. You understand? Or should just be much more a thinker in terms of how I think about life. I mean, you, I mean, use the word I for your life, so you do the. So this is guys, I've just sent it all over here. But I'm just tying up my shoelaces. I want, I want you guys to see very quickly that now, since I'm understanding what I can do, is the freeway. But is it a scam for you to promote yourself? And to put money in yourself to promote yourself, Russia now. Russia now, guess what? Russia, if you want to make money, to make money through free road and go the free road and go the free road as much as you can because people are unable to afford you and people never understand who you are and they never understand who you are. But yes, give them business card for free and give them something for free. I mean, give them more freedom for free. I mean, if you can make freedom for people, then you also have to understand that they give you money for the freedom you give them. So how can you elaborate for yourself and other people to show them that you're giving them freedom? First, the best thing you can do is give them something for free. First, that's it. First, that's all you can do. First, if someone down the line, they want to help you. Or if they never want to help you, someone down the line. Or if they never want to help you, then they never want to help themselves either. That's it. <coughs> Alright, now, busking performances is the best way forward now. Always. And it always will be. But you can ask for donations. I mean, you can ask for donations. But donations is come for free. I mean, I'm always asking for donations. I never have to be the guy or woman who has a guitar on the floor asking for donations like that. I never have to be one of those people. I mean, if you want to give me some money for free, then give it to me. I shall sure receive it straight away. I mean, in a sense, so that's the thing. Oh, now I'm understanding what I'm doing much greater. And if you want to go around doing paid promotion, 
of asking people to come to a certain location or giving more business cards for yourself. Obviously, you can do that if you want. But target new audiences. And what happens is, I suddenly want to come and see these for free. Actually, most of them are doing nothing. Actually, most of them are doing nothing on that day when you call them. Actually, when you call them for free, they're doing nothing. Actually, most of them are doing nothing. Actually, 99% of them are doing nothing. So make sure you understand that if you call them on a day where it's a work day, actually, now guess what? Actually, most of the time, they are doing something. And if you call them on a Sunday, actually, they're doing nothing on this day. Most of the time. Or should on a Saturday, they're doing nothing most of the time. Or should on a Friday, or should doing something regardless of what you're doing. Or should, if you're calling other people to your events, you're calling them on a Saturday or Sunday for free on that night or day. Or should, yeah. or should if you want to make money, then make money doing it for free. Or should, if you want to go to nightclubs, then go to a nightclub on that night and ask the manager on your own time. But give them an album. I mean, give them a promotional album of yours to get the gig for free. I mean, yes, and that's even better. Or give them a business card. I mean, give them a business card to listen to your music on Spotify. Or whatever it is. And that's another fashion. But if you can give them your actual business card and also Give them your promotional album or music album to perform at their nightclub sometime for free. Then try to do that. But also try to mix in with other people to make an event. Because when you mix in with other people to make an event, you now become somebody on that night as well. You understand? So I, I just recently seen Carl Cox and other people. And the only one I recognize is Carl Cox. But other people there are trying to make their names as well. And there's competition. There's a big competition happening. So what do I do? I have to go on the night of enjoying myself with these big events. Or promoting myself at these events for free on regular nights. On regular nights, yeah. I have to be a regular DJ there. And what kind of regular DJ? I have to promote their music. I have to promote their music that they want me to promote. Or should I tell you win gigs? But is it possible to play my own gigs? Or should you guess what? Or should you do this? Possible. Or should I have to ask for it? But the best way to ask is go into the nightclub and ask. Personally. Because I've been trying to get to these people in terms of nightclubs, but they're unavailable to talk to me. But if I call them over the phone, they have to be available. But guess what? Of course, you have to go to a side casino and have to talk to somebody. And guess what? Of course, it's more how it is. Of course, you'll go for now and move on. Yeah. Of course, now, how do they go around the world? For, I mean, they go for free. And they go for free. I mean, they give money for it. I mean, at first, they had a hard time at first to go around the world for free, but then somehow they get more popular very quickly. I mean, it literally gets more popular very quickly throughout the days. And why is that? I'm probably sure because there's music that people love. Or there's music that people want to hear. I don't know why. Or that's why I'm, I'm always speaking about Vici. IO as well. IO has music that people want to hear. So she has that techno vibe that people want. I have that music that people want to hear, but now I have to be in the nightclubs performing it. So I have to do that for free. I have to do it for free. I mean, you understand? So that's the thing. So every single day, I'm learning. I'm learning something for nothing. But anyway, I understand that my Netflix time is coming up. I'm just on Netflix now, so I can go and enjoy myself and Make sure you guys are enjoying yourselves as well. So, for, for, I mean, for now, I understand why I need to do much greater than yesterday, and that's the whole point.
See, because I did my word I. So anyway, guys, so what I'm doing now is just recording my voice just to pass by some time. But guess what? I'm going to show you more how I feel. I feel I'm doing the best I can. I mean, you must understand that the world today is shifting to slavery. And more people are slaves today than ever before. And you have to understand that what you need to realize is we grow up millionaires. I mean, we grow up having something that is free. And then eventually our freedom is gone. I mean, eventually our freedom has gone from what it was to something worse. Because people are forcing us into the 9 to 5 job. And the longer you go without a 9 to 5 job, the more you end up homeless on the street. So that's why it's so important to keep a 9 to 5 job. I mean, today it's so important for you to keep a 9 to 5 job. And now, if you're always moving away from a 9 to 5 job and never working, and then you're working and then never working, then try to be consistent on a 9 to 5 job. And understand that it's never the way forward in terms of life, but at least you're going to be someone who's never homeless. I mean, in a sense, so do your job. I mean, do what you set out to do. I love to do writing. I love to do audio programs. I love to do video programs after the 9 to 5 job. I mean, they're saying. So what I need to do is realize the popularity for me is already. I'm already popular the way I am. I'm, I'm, I'm uploading all my content online somewhere. And that's it. I promise, you, I promise you, as long as I upload everything online somewhere, and it exists somewhere online where somebody can never ever delete it, promise you, that is what means to me the world. That you get this audio program somehow. I promise you, I understand straight away that you guys are listening to this somehow. But you must understand that what's important is giving you guys a notion right now that I'm someone successful in what I'm doing. So most people never believe in my success. They see Danny Milvojevich. Oh, I mean, who's that? But guess what? I'm brushing a little bit that way. A little bit that way all my life. But now I'm understanding that all I want to do is promote my beautiful songs and track titles and what I have personally to the people who are in my life. And that's it. And once you feel in my life, then you get my business card and that's it. I mean, in a sense, so no matter what, that I'm never in it for the fame. I promise you now, the money, I promise you the money is something different. I promise you the money is something that you have to understand. You have to find your way throughout money. And I don't, I'm not sure how to make money other than the words I give. I can only make money in the words I give and the songs I give, and that's it. I promise you that I'm never giving up. I'm never giving up on who I am. I'm never giving up on a story, I'm not, I'm not giving up on anything, but I'm looking to find the truth, I'm looking to find what it is, that people are slowly becoming more like slaves, and you have to understand that, I mean, you have to understand that those people who are alone and by themselves are richer than with other people, Actually, you're always richer with yourself than with other people because other people are limits, and they try to limit you to some extent. I promise you, my mum tries to limit me to some extent, I promise you. And with that notion, I'm understanding something. That I never ever want to limit, but other people try to force you with other people. And that's the limit. I the limit is that other people want you with other people. But at the same time, my mum provides me freedom. At the same time. So is she trying to really, really limit me? I promise you, yes, to some extent. But she's also giving me freedom. And she's giving me freedom too. So what I want to do behind her back is I want to talk to her less and less and less, to talk to you more and more and more, to have more spiritual release in my system. So of course I never say this to her. I mean, make sure you understand that my mom never wants me to talk to you. Or she, that's how my mom is. I mean, my mom never wants me to talk to you, yeah. I mean, why is that? I mean, she, she's just that type of woman. She, I mean, she never believes in me, what are you saying? I mean, she never believes in me like that, what are you saying? I mean, she, yeah, I mean, she, but she is willing to give me freedom and money to come overseas, 
to be with her, to go for a holiday, and to be without a nine to five job for one year. So she's willing to give him money for that. I mean, in a sense, so that's a good thing about her. So the thing is, I have to weigh the odds, and the odds is over the next year, it's much more worth it that I go see my mum and be with my dad. Because it's been five years since I've seen my mum. I mean, it's been around five years since I've seen my mum. So, I realised something. I realised I have to watch out all the time with how I speak to you. And I have to go and really, really, you know, procrastinate. But I've been looking at some stuff online. And with the portable speaker and all this, I realised I have more enough in the portable speaker I have at the moment. I'm not sure it's much more how I feel. Eventually, I need to get that portable speaker and have to also eventually have a bigger portable speaker at hand to do my work. And that's where I am. I'm just different. I'm just someone different, doing something different all the time. So I'm actually understanding no matter what, I see Jesus Christ image. And it means that Jesus Christ is with me. And every single day, I'm always looking for the nice and beautiful spot of legacy every single day. And Jesus Christ is saying, promote Jesus Christ all the time. Yeah? I mean, realize this. And no matter what, this world is yours. And it's yours for the taking. But you have to be willing to improve yourself. And you have to be willing to go and study upon life in a way that you're moving forward. But find yourself away from people. And go with yourself somewhere. Because that's somewhere where you can live at peace. So if you just go with yourself over other people, you'll find happiness and peace and courage and everything you ever want is with you alone. Because you must understand, it's just with you only. And never ever be afraid. I mean, never be afraid, but realize that other people want to make you work. And now I'm 29, and the most I made at the 9 to 5 job is around $3,000. Which that's the most I made in my bank account, yeah. For sure though, I realised something quick on. I, I, I realised something really quickly on and really quickly moving forward. That I never ever want to save money in my bank account. So I'm always that type of guy that when I get some money, I promote myself as much as I can. And that's it. I try to just Live by the day. I, I try to live. I try to live day by day. I try to go and live day by day, every single day. I try to do something to help my life. But since I have my phone now, I'm understanding that no matter what, I have it for the next five minutes before I can go and have lunch. I understand that. I realize I realize something. I realize every single day. I understand that. I realize how I need to go and grow myself. I have to grow myself differently. I have to go and do something that's helpful toward myself the most. I have to help myself every single day understand some key riches and key techniques every single day differently, to do something different, to help myself to elaborate with myself all day long, to make sure I'm doing something every single day that's going to help me move forward. Because I understand that what's the point is, I understand straight away that if you're trying to make money on other people, it's really a scam. But is it really? So I should guess what? I should really, I'm Jesus Christ never tries to make money on you. So I should Jesus Christ already made money on you. I mean, I mean, Jesus Christ already made money on you. Already. I mean, in a sense, so what can you do? So I should people going around pitching people and trying to give them the lifestyle and says, and people are saying, give me $5,000. You have me as a coach, and you have me as a coach. Or she'll do, guess what? Or she's a scam, or she, nah. Or she's never a scam, because they're asking. I mean, they're asking for the money. I mean, it's never that they're demanding for it. I mean, they're asking you to give them, so that they can teach you some skills about what you need. And that's it. I mean, you have to trust people. I mean, you have to trust yourself only. I mean, trust Jesus Christ. And what does Jesus Christ do with five thousand dollars? I mean, Jesus Christ shows you now that He rather just go and give it to somebody. And how does He give it to somebody? I mean, He gives it to promote Himself for free. Well, that's it. 
باشه یه چه اینین وارد سه دو است نگوانی دهی از نگوانی باشه وای هی از نگوانی جیزوس کرایس گرس تو ورک نانا فایف این جیزوس کرایس آسک سال دو فیفل دکیوی مانی باشه یه چه باشه دین جیزوس کرایس لرن سمتین اولان دو وای او دا پروورشن دا هی دان and then he goes and makes another promotion somewhere else or at the same venue makes another promotion and keeps it going all the way through I understand? and Jesus Christ says that with the money he just wants to promote himself and that's it I mean, you understand? so try to be someone who can do that for yourself I and mean, trying to use up all the money in your bank account all the time <coughs> and try to do that for yourself because that way you're learning when I mean, you're learning something at least and you're just getting ahead of the ground I mean, you're getting ahead of the ground I mean, you're getting ahead of the ground in the grain of life and you're just making sure that no matter what that you're learning how to you know procrastinate but you're learning to live free and you're living free on what you have and live free guys, I mean live free, I mean, I mean go search for where the freedom is I mean as long as you have a free road somewhere, or actually there's a better road or as long as there's a free road somewhere, then there's something that you can do for free in that road, and follow that road all the way and see where it takes you I mean go all the way for free, and go all the way for free and live for free until you have to work a 9 to 5 job I want you, yeah, I want you to live for free all the way and try to go the freeway all the way and extend it as much as you can I mean try to do that for yourself so you can actually become somebody much more but how do you become somebody much more? Well, the only way is to speak more words and that's it I mean speak more words is the only way to become somebody much more well, you now much more in your life for sure well, you, other people never care about you I care about you I care about you, but the thing is, they never do. I'm impressed now. They never care about me either. But that's why we never need them to care about us. I'm sure all we need is to care about each other. I'm sure all we need is to care about ourselves only. And that's why I'm not saying that I'm just the word I only, and that's why I'm growing myself here. Yeah? I mean, that's why I'm using up my time. I'm using up my time to just talk words to deliver content and to do something helpful because that's how you live life 